Alright guys, I look like a mess right now. I just took a shower, but I saw this quiz on LinkedIn, or this assessment. Um, it's Garrett with self -taught Dev. Anyway, there's this assessment, um, and we're going to do the CSS portion of it. Looks like it's 15, 20 minutes timed, multiple choice questions. Got to get in the seven, 70th percentile, required to pass and get the badge. And if you don't pass, you can retry in three months. Um, so you guys can watch this and kind of get an idea of what the quiz is like. Hopefully I pass. Hopefully I don't have to wait three months and try again. Because um, I'm a web developer, so it's going to be kind of disappointing if I don't pass this. But let's do it. All right, so how many questions did it, did it say? I don't remember. Oh, well, anyway. All right, you got like a minute and a half on each question. Cool. By the way, my camera might die halfway through this. So what type of declaration will take precedence? Important declarations in the user style sheet. Important declaration in the Arthur style sheet. There are different types of style sheets. I'm gonna fail this. I don't know this shit. Holy crap. Um, important in the users. It's one of these two because important overranks everything. Um, user or Arthur? I'm gonna. I, I'm guessing user is gonna be like the browser style sheet. So the Arthur style sheet would come in. That would get added in after, so we're gonna try that one. Um, oh, this isn't too long, huh? All right. So, with best practices in mind, which guidelines would, which guideline is the most ideal when using type, class, and ID selectors? Use type selectors for default styles when all of an element element needs to be styled the same way. Use class selectors specific elements. I can't read this out loud. Hold on. Um, Okay, you're not going to use IDs for global elements. Because you're only going to use an ID once. Alright, so that's out because you can use IDs. That's not like a worse practice. I rarely, actually, I rarely ever use IDs, huh? Um, I don't like the first two answers because those both talk about using IDs only for global elements, um, which you can only use IDs once. So it wouldn't be a global element. It'd just be like a one-time element. That wouldn't make sense. Um, leaning toward number three, use IDs for unique styles, global elements that are not repeated. And the global elements is making it weird, but fuck it, we got two seconds. So, uh, dang it. All right, when using media queries, media types are used to target a device category. What choice lists current valid media types? Print, screen, television. Um, huh. Is it cheating if we just Google this real quick? I know screen's one, so it's we're rolling out B. I mean, if you're a web developer, you can do this on the fly. So, all right, print, screen, and speech. Print, screen, and speech. There it is. Yeah, I mean, if I'm if I'm working on a project, I need to know different media query types. I can just Google that real quick. Sitting like we're in college or high school, and you can't look off the test. When adding trans, uh, parent, wait, transparency styles, what is the difference between using the opacity property versus the background property with an RGBA value? Um, that part's true. Background with RGBA only applies the transparent to the transparency of the background color only. Okay, so C is out. Okay, yeah, so C and D are out. It's either A or B. Um, opacity specifies the level of transparency of an element, including its content. That's true. Yeah, whereas background with an RGBA value only applies to the background color. 
Which of these choices is true about class selectors, which is not true? Oh wait, three of these choices are true about class selectors, which is not. Okay, um, the same class can be used multiple times per page, true. Class selectors begin with a leading period. Um, I mean, in the style sheet, yeah. Classes can be used multiple times per page, but not within the same element. Um, that one is kind of weird. Multiple classes can be used within the same element. Yes, that's true, so it's C, cool. What is the line height property primarily used for? To control the height of space between heading elements, to control the height of character size, to control the width, uh, not width, okay. To control the height of space between two lines of content. Yep, that one, that's it. There are many properties that can be used to align elements and create page layouts such as float, uh, Flexbox and Grid. Of these four properties, which one should be used to align a global navigation bar that stays fixed at the top of the page? Um, should be used? Oh, fixed at the top. Yeah, you have to use position fixed to like fix it to the top. CSS Grid introduces a new length unit, FR, to create flexible grid tracks. Referring to the below code sample, what will the widths of the um, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with grid. I haven't got to use that very much. I prefer Flexbox. Let's just use our handy dandy Google here. Um, so we're checking out Google, I mean grid FR unit. So Forty seconds. Okay, so FR represents a fraction of the available space in the grid container. So fifty pixels um, width is five hundred. So that'll be like five hundred minus fifty. So there's four fifty pixels divided by three. Um, four fifty divided by three. Math. Yeah. 150. First column will be 150. The next two will be 300. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. I didn't get to read the answers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not valid. That was just which ones are valid. In the following example, according to cascading and specificity, specific, ah, whatever the fuck the rule, the word is, rule. What color will be? Will the link be? Okay, uh, let's see here. So, class is example. Yeah, class overrides just standard selectors. So it'll be yellow. This seems too easy. I feel like it's a trick. Well, I accidentally hit select, so whatever. Anyway, I mean submit. Uh, the values for font weight property can be keywords or numbers. For each of the numbers values below, uh, so 400 will be regular um, or normal, and then 700 will be either, I think 700 is bolder. If we just hand it over to Google Fonts and pick a font real quick. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 700 is bold. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, that's italic. Fuck. Um, hold on. <laughs> All right, select that font. And we go to customize. And we got 40 seconds, so we're good here. So bold is 700, not bolder. Okay, so we'll just do normal and bold. <laughs> oh, God. I moved the screen off. I'm sorry. And my webcam died. That's disappointing. Oh, well. Anyway, using the nth child pseudo class. 
what would be the most efficient way to style every third element in a list, starting with a, with item two? Um, uh, I've only had to use this twice, and I've Googled it both times. What would be the most effect, efficient way to style every third item in a list, starting with a second? Um, Three in. How much time? Thirty seconds. Cool. I'm leaning toward B. Well, actually, no, this one would make sense. So that would start with 2n, which would be number 2, and then it'd go up 3 every time, I think. So we'll try that. Uh, what elements do the following selectors match to? Nav, nav, nav. A div with the class nav? No. A Oh, wait. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be a div, but an element with the class nav, an element, a nav element, Cool. So I'm leaning toward D. Yeah, it's D. All right, I think this is the last one. No, there's got to be two more. There's 15 questions, huh? All right, so how long has this been? God, I hope I hit record. 11 minutes? Dang. All right, anyway. Oh, I wonder if you guys are going to watch this this long. It's kind of boring. Oh, well. Anyway, in the shorthand example below, the individual background properties are represented. Um, background blue, image URL. No repeat, scroll, zero, zero. Blue, background image, background dash IMG is not valid. I learned that the other day. Background SRC doesn't look correct either. It's one of these two. So we got blue, background image, no repeat, scroll, zero, zero. What's the difference here? Oh, it's in the properties, okay. Background repeat, background scroll. Um, Yeah, it's background attachment. So that one, B, final answer. Using an attribute selector, how would you select an A element with a title attribute? This one. So yeah, we'll just go through these real quick. Uh, D, that is like joining classes. So this would assume that it's an A element with the class title not the attribute. This would be the direct descendant. So it'd be like an A element, like, and then directly inside the A element, you're looking for a title element. Um, so that wouldn't be it. This would be A equals title. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I've never used that before. So I'm going to go with A. Final answer. Okay, cool. 12 correct, 3 incorrect. Pass the LinkedIn assessment. Can I review the questions? I want to know what I got wrong. That's annoying. All right, well, let's go back to my profile. If you guys want to add me, that'd be dope. Show recruiters what you know. Pass this quit, you earned, I earned the badge, cool. Uh, how do I look at this as somebody who's never seen my profile before? You can switch that, I've done it before. Did they take it off? I am trying. If we just do share profile and we copy this and then we go to up here, new incognito window, this will pull it up blank. All right, that's not what the fuck I wanted, bro. I want you to pull up my profile. Come on, LinkedIn, what you doing? Yes, I wanna leave. I don't care about all those other messages. Um, huh. Oh well, where's my badge? Is it in the skills down here? 
in the organizations. Oh, that's cool. You just get like a little val validated. Huh. Well, I need people to endorse me for HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So if you guys want to come find me on LinkedIn, here's my LinkedIn username. It's Garrett-Hughes. It's my picture. It's my background. Go find me. I'll add you to Cat, stop knocking stuff off the counter for attention. I, if you have your profile linked up there, I'll check it out. And as long as it's good, I, I'll endorse you too. Uh, if you have any questions, anything else like that, um, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace.